Um, but anyway, um, I'm just wondering if people in general really want to live in a society not only in which a man doesn't deign to pay a woman a compliment or is, you know, genuinely fearful about taking us to bed or whatever, but also where our men are weak, pathetic, girly boys, either emotionally or mentally, uh, or quite literally having hacked off their junk and, you know, made the transition to the superior state of femaleness or whatever. And the ones who are left have no means and no desire to protect us. I, I, I can't believe that that's what we're gunning for. Right. And I, I don't understand. I don't understand it. And nobody will listen to you if you want to talk about it. I, right. I mean, it sounds old fashioned, but I, I want to live in a society where men are good to women and women are good to men. And, you know, if I'm jammed up, a, a man who doesn't even know me will, will want to, you know, help me out or, or protect me or, you know, where, where men desire to protect ladies and ladies desire to be nice. And it now occurs to me that I'm sounding like a Jane Austen novel. I'm not trying no, to No, no, be... listen, don't, no, no, listen, don't, don't, uh, don't denigrate your own particular preferences. The very reasonable reasons why you'd want that. I mean, it's not Leave it to Beavertown. It's not Jane Austen novels. Uh, there are some very practical and sensible and healthy reasons as to why you would want that. And I just wanted to caution you from, in a sense, mocking or teasing your own perspective. Okay. Okay. Um, be, be, thank you for that. Because I really do believe um, that healthy civilizations are a balance of men and women and all that that implies. And I, we're different. You know, I, I'm not saying women shouldn't, you know, the way people behave, you would think that they'd revoked our vote or something. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. They're making issues where there are no issues, at least not anymore. And all the while, people are ignoring the real issues, like which are that, I mean, I know men who are just tapping out. They're just like, you know what? Health it. Screw all you. <laughs> so they're doing what? Like, like they are just like mentally and emotionally tapping out. They, they're, they've given up. Oh, you mean but, like bailing on relationships with women, do you mean? Like just not having Yeah, them? Yeah, on women, period. Like they're just going to hole up in a cave. And at the same time, Western governments seem hell-bent on importing hordes of men who, who are actually misogynists, who actually consider women as playthings and property or less valuable than dirt. And it, it's terrifying because we're getting this influx of like, like alpha men or whatever. And our men are, you know, transitioning to women or just basically, you know, probably hating us. And, and why wouldn't they? Well, no, but uh, m men can, men cannot be women. All that men can be is not men. Right, you say, oh, you know, girly men, or like, I guess you hear a lot of this sort of stuff, all the men are like women. No, they're not. Because men cannot be women. Men can only be not men. Any but, more than, like, a, a man can't give birth, a man can't breastfeed, like, a man can't, you know, have six years of hot flashes in the 50s. I mean, this is, men, men can only be not men. They, they, they can't, they can't become women. Oh, I understand that, but I think the problem is more mental, right? I mean, if you're a guy who won't, you know, say something because, you know, women actually scare you, you're not helping the, you know what I mean? It's not helping the situation. I'm no, not it's not. It's not. No, look, men, men are not scared of women. No, no, men are scared of the state. Right. Men, men are not scared of women as a whole. I mean, all, all due respect, you know, your upper body strength is usually not much to push in a strong screen door. It's not, it, it's the state that men are scared of. It's the power of the state combined with unstable elements within certain sections of women. 
that men are scared of family courts, men are scared of, of rape accusations, this men are scared I mean. of, yeah, but it's not women that men are scared of, it's, it's the state. Well, I forgive and, and, you know, the there's good reason to be scared of the state, right? Yeah, but that is what I meant, right? I mean, men are not allowed to, like, any anything is sexual harassment or or rape or, you, you know, you're going to get your kids taken away or you're going to go broke trying to pay this woman off for no apparent reason because she's a cow. You know what I mean? Like, um, understandably, men are, you know, if I was a man, I, I would... It would probably give me pause before I pissed off a woman because our society is is getting so matriarchal or whatever. No, it's statriarchal. It's, you know, again, matriarchal. There's always been a matriarchy. I mean, women have always raised uh, babies uh, to toddlerhood, at least usually up to the age of six or seven historically. So there's always been a patriarchy, uh, sorry, a matriarchy, and women have always had enormous amounts of influence over society, you know, that old phrase that the, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Uh, but you combine the matriarchy, which is traditional, with the power of the state, and it short circuits uh, capacities and, and possibilities for men. And this is at the same time when um, it's at the same time that not only has it become more dangerous to date women in the West, but not dating women has become far more enjoyable. You know, video games and 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 pornography and Netflix and you know gyms and sports and excess wealth and fifty inch televisions and so on. I mean, I used to think because sometimes people just got married and had kids because it's boring. <laughs> you know, it's kind of boring. There's not that much to do with your life otherwise. But now, you know, there's there's cheap travel. There's uh, extreme sports. There's you know, I mean, really kind of lots of cool stuff that you can do if you don't settle down a lot more. Than they used to be, and of course now that again there's no pretty much no prohibitions on uh, sexual uh, masturbation and pornography, so it's not like I got to get married because I want to have an orgasm. I mean that's like that's done and dusted usually before most guys have brushed their teeth in the morning, I imagine. So, um, so you've got these two things happening at the same time that it's more scary to date women, and it's a lot more fun to not uh, date women. And, uh, you know, the last thing that used to, I think the last barrier to go was if you don't have a girlfriend, then you're kind of a loser. But I think that's changing a lot now. Now, I think guys with girlfriends, particularly young, like I'm guys in their like late teens, early 20s, guys with steady girlfriends are seen as kind of not cool domesticated guys. You know, you're you're not a, a a a magnificent steer out there in the wilderness. You're just a gelded bull who's like wandering around looking for uh, the perfect soft serve yogurt at the mall with your girlfriend. And so, this idea that well, you know, you're a loser if you don't have a girlfriend. I think that's kind of changed a lot as well. And uh, so, I think w once that goes away. I don't think there'll be any, and, and of course the other thing too is that um, because taxes are so high, largely to pay for all of the single moms who couldn't keep their legs crossed or a decent guy around, because taxes are so high, having kids is a whole lot less fun than it used to be because if you want to have any kind of decent lifestyle for your kids, that means usually two parents working, and that means that you really don't get to spend that much time with your kids uh, and enjoy a relaxed and, and secure family life. Anyway, so it's yeah, the whole the whole of it is coming together where it's just um you know, there's a reason why this birth rate is collapsing. It, no, it, no, 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 no. Germany is quite simple. Germany is quite simple is that women don't like the sight of blood. That's all. I mean, women don't, you know, I mean if if they if they turned back these boats that were coming over from North Africa right across the Mediterranean, if they turned these boats back and people just come out and started swarming the shores, and they'd have to round them up at gunpoint. And if people attacked, they'd have to shoot, right? And then the women all over the world are like, oh, look, they're shooting. The blood. Okay, well, then let them walk all over you. I mean, there's, there's no other choice. You either enforce your borders, which means using force to prevent people from coming in, enforcing the laws or whatever, 
which women in particular don't like. And generally, women can afford to be sentimental because they're not the ones drafted to go and fight in these wars should things go awry, which they probably will. But um, women don't like to see the guns of the state, which paradoxically women are more and more relying upon for their income and security, right? And women don't like to see the guns of the state drawn. Men understand the guns of the state. Men understand that the state is an agency of violence. You understand it to your eternal credit. But they don't like to see, like they, they want to get their check, right? They want to get their money from the women. They want to get their money from the government. They want to get their free education. They want to get their ben. They don't want to see how it's collected. They don't want to see guns. They don't want to see prisons. Ew. Ew. They don't want to see where the money's coming from. So they don't want to see the power of the state in the same way that a mafia wife doesn't want to show up at a hit job, right? She yeah. doesn't want to see it. They don't want to see where the money, where Tony Soprano's money is coming. I don't want to see that. She wants to go shopping, you know, wants to do her thing. Wants to go to church, go buy her new Hermes handbag. It doesn't, doesn't want to know that, what state power actually is. That's unconscionable and in order to, to maintain, me. Sorry, in order to maintain the boundaries of the country, guns have got to be pulled out. Well, yes. But yes. women don't want to see that. But how, how can, I mean, there are some women who can be logical and reasonable. And how can you look back on history and think <laughs> it's a it's a fantasy like you 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 have to be aware that that sometimes these less desirable things are necessary you don't have to be in love with the idea but surely women are capable of seeing that these things are necessary no i i look i i accept that you accept that but the majority of European women are still voting left, are still voting for open borders. They're showing up with, here is candy for you, lovely migrants, here's hugs. And they can afford to be sentimental because they've been shielded from reality by the power of the state for so long. They're insane. L -l 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 deeply detached from the history of Europe versus Islam, deeply detached from reality because the state has been pandering them for generations now. Well, that's gross. I uh, can kind of. I'll give you a. I'll give you a hint. At least one that came from my history, Jenna, and and it's very brief. And you can tell me if this makes any sense to you. All of the women I most admire were always despised by other women. <laughs> right. It's true. It's and I'm, absolutely I, true. The women I really respect and admire, and there have been many of them, who've contributed enormously to my intellectual development, other women hate them <laughs> so much. <laughs>